In this video we're going to talk about how to pull out additional toolbars, hiding toolbars if you don't want to see them, or maybe hiding icons in that particular toolbar, and also pinning or unpinning dialog boxes if you have them pinned or if you want them pinned. First example, if I go to the task, and we're just going to open up another um, toolbox is what we're going to do. So let's say we're underneath the task and underneath civil tools and you're working with the horizontal geometry tools quite often. What you can do is actually pull that entire toolbar out to make it a toolbar versus a task if you wish to do that. And to do that you go to that particular task like horizontal geometry and if you right click over horizontal geometry you will see this option that says open horizontal geometry as toolbox. So we'll click on it and now we have it pulled out as a toolbox. If you grab it by the banner here, you can pull it to whatever location that you want. If you want it docked, you can pull it up even farther and you'll see that it's going to dock to wherever you want to place it at, whether it's above or down below here, or maybe on the right or left side, depending on where you want to place it at. So that's how you can pull those toolbars out however you wish to do that. If there's additional tools like underneath the horizontal geometry tools, there's also additional tools. If you hold your left mouse button down, there's an option that says open as toolbox, depending on which one that you select. You could actually drag that set of tools out as a separate toolbox also, depending on how many tools are actually underneath of it. This one here actually has more, so you can pull it out as another toolbox. So on those tools, you can, like I said, you can dock those to wherever you want to whatever situation or the need that you want and how you want MicroStation to work. Another thing on toolboxes is you can also show and hide certain tools if you want to see them or you don't want to see them. So let's say we're using maybe one of our standard MicroStation tools this time and I'm going to pull out my manipulate dialog box and maybe I don't use the array tool you, know, you could come in here and actually turn off that particular icon in that toolbar and to do that over any toolbox if you right click over it you'll see options that that you have checked on or checked off depending on which dialog box that you you do that to if you want to turn that particular tool off let's say array you'd uncheck it and now you'll see that the array option is no longer there or if I want to turn off maybe the align by edges, I could turn off that one. Tool's not gone, you just turn that particular tool off inside that toolbox. And if you want it back, you can always right click over it and turn those on by clicking on it. And it'll turn those tools back on. So that's how you can remove or hide some icons if you don't want to see them for, for whatever reason. The last section that I'm going to talk about is the pinning of dialog boxes. And if you see something pinned, it's going to look some, something similar to what these three are right here, which these are created by default, which is the task, the project, explore, and the element information. They're set up as a tab. If you want that to be pinned at all times, you have this little pin option right here that says pin. And if you click on that, that particular tool, set of tools, will always stay opened up to where you can see them. Some people like that and some people don't. It's just a user preference. If you want that to be unpinned, you'd click on the unpin option and now it's set up as a tab again. To where whenever you hover over top of it, you'll have the options to get to those particular tools, but once you move back out onto your view, that set of tools go, go away. So, however you want to operate, there's two different ways you can do it. Whether you want to pin it or if you want to unpin it. If you have it pinned, like what we have right here, you could actually pull that whole entire set of tools to a different location. Maybe you have dual screens and you want to pull all your tools over onto one side. If I grab it by the banner here, and I hold my left mouse button down, I can actually drag that set of tools out. And I can pull it to my other screen or somewhere else that I need to. Now if you want to pin something, or set it up as a tab, depending on what dialog box that you have will determine where you can place it at. If I hold my left mouse button down over the, the banner here for task, you'll see 
you have some little blue handles over to the side here depending on where you can place it at those are the indicators of where you can actually dock that particular set of tools so if, I, if I'm hovering over top of this one and I let go of it it's going to dock that over to the left side and if I want to pin it I'll just click on the pin option and now it's set as a tab now versus being docked outside and that's that works on multiple different dialog boxes let's say if I go to my reference dialog box by default it brings it up as a dialog but if you want that to be a tab you could do that also just grab it by the banner and you'll see certain options where you can dock it at whether it's on the upper side of your view or on the lower side and if I want to pin it I could actually pin it to where it's down below here now set up as a tab if you wish to do that if you don't want to do that go back over to the tab click on the unpin drag it back out and now you have it set up as a dialog box again so your user preference depending on what you want to do but those are some of the options for docking toolbars or removing tools that if you don't want to see them and also pinning and unpinning dialog boxes